Hello friends, welcome to Codechef. This is Suraj, and in this video, let's discuss this problem slow solution from July Long Challenge One, 2022. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, it is given that chef is trying to solve a problem having total t test cases, where for each test case he is given a single integer n, and chef has an algorithm which takes exactly n square iteration for a test case with value n. The constraint of the problem are as follow. Uh, so t here will uh, will be from one till max t, and n will be from one till max n, and the sum of n over all the test cases will never exceed the value of sum n. So we are given this three integers: max t, max n, and sum n. Given the value of max t, max n, and sum n, we need to determine the maximum number of iterations Chef's algorithm can take. For any valid input file satisfying all the constraints, formally speaking, we need to find out the maximum value of n1 square, n2 square, n till nt square for any valid input satisfying all the constraints. Now let's see the input and output structure. So here in the input, first of all, we'll get total number of test cases, so that is equals to t, and then for each and every test case, we'll get just three integer. That will be the value of max t, max n, and sum n, respectively. So here the value of max t is 10. So our test number of total number of test cases will be less than or equal to ten and greater than or equal to one, and that the value of max n is hundred. So n is less than or equal to hundred and greater than or equal to one, and the sum of n should not exceed two hundred. Okay, so sum of n is equals to two hundred. And for each and every test case, we just need to print what is the maximum number of iteration. Our chef's algorithm can take for any given input file satisfying these constraints. So here, let's see the test cases now. So in the first test case, our uh, t will range from one to ten, and n will range from one to hundred, and total sum will should not exceed two hundred. So we can uh, give an input file with n equal to hundred first time and n equal to hundred second time. So in total, uh, we are giving two uh, test cases. So here, t is equals to two. And n is equals to hundred in each, so the total uh, runtime will be of this square plus this square, which is equals to ten thousand plus ten thousand. That will be equal to twenty thousand. So output is twenty thousand. Now let's see the second test case. Here the maximum number of test cases we can give is three, and the value of uh, of n that is maximum n is ten, and the sum is hundred. So first time we'll give ten. Then next time we'll also give ten, and the third time we'll also give ten. So there are total three test cases here. That is T one, T two, and T three. So we are passing total three test cases, and in each and every test case we are passing the value of n equal to ten. Uh, so here the sum of total number of sum of n is thirty, which is not exceeding hundred. So it is satisfying the condition, and the total number of iteration will be square of this number plus square of this number plus square of this number. That is equals to hundred times three, which will be three hundred. So output is three hundred. Similarly, here in the third test case, the uh, total number of test cases which we can give is one thousand, and we can have maximum number of n is uh, maximum value of n is also one thousand, and uh, the total sum in uh, which we can have for n is two thousand two hundred. So here we can give is first time we can give n is equals to one thousand, then next time we can give n is equals to again one thousand. And the next time we can give is n is equals to 200. So sum here is 2,200, and total number of test case is three. This is t1, this is t2, and this is t3. And the maximum number of iteration will be this square plus this square plus this square. So it it will be equals to this number here. And here in the fourth test case, maximum number of test case is uh, 100, and the maximum number of n maximum value of n is also 100. And the sum of n should also be hundred. So here in this test case, we can pass just one test case with n is equals to hundred. So the output will be this square, which will give us ten thousand. So here ten thousand is the output. Now let's discuss the approach. So first of all, let's say we initialize our answer to zero, and then uh, we'll proceed until we are not exceeding the value of max test and sum n. So what we'll do, uh, we'll take the value of n equal to minimum of max n, 
and sum n. Okay, we'll take this and then we'll add we'll add n square in our answer. So n multiply by n. We'll add this and then here we'll decrement the value of this max t by one. So we'll decrement max t by one and also sum n by this max n. So sum n minus equal to not this max n but sum n is equals to minus equal to this n so indirectly what we are doing is in each iteration here we'll decrement uh, uh, max t by 1 and we'll decrement our sum n by the value of this n so at the end rather this max t will become 0 first or rather this sum n will become 0 first so until uh, both are not equal to 0 we'll keep iterating and we'll keep on adding n square in our answer so as soon as at least one of them will become zero we'll stop that uh, stop at that position and after that our answer that is the maximum number of iteration will be stored in this answer variable which we can directly print i hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in codechef that is codechef's doubt support so let me just show you how you can use this new feature so let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say i pick any problem so let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem then here in this problem let's say i'm stuck and i'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion so what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts so let me start this new chat and here i'll ask a simple question so let me ask So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Now let's see the implementation in C++. So here in C++, first of all, I'm accepting T, the total number of test cases. Then I'm calling solution function for each and every test case. And in a solution function here, I'm accepting the value of max T, max N and, and sum N respectively. And then here I have initialized our answer to zero. So here you need to make sure that you are using long, long. Otherwise you may get a wrong answer. Okay. So here I'll iterate until the value of max T or max n is not equal to zero okay so here i'll uh, first get the value of n that is equals to minimum of max n and sum n and then here i'll add n square in our answer and then i'll subtract max n by n and i'll also decrement our number of test cases by one that is maximum number of test cases by one so uh, until we exhaust at least one of this number we'll keep iterating and we'll keep on adding uh, n square to this answer and uh, as soon as uh, this max t or this max or the sum n will become zero will exit this loop and finally our answer will be stored in this answer variable which you can directly print here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i'm accepting t the total number of test cases then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case and here in the solution function first of all i'm accepting the value of max t max n and sum n and then here i have initialized answer to zero and then i'll loop until the value of max t and sum n is not equal to zero okay so i'll first get the value of n which is equals to minimum of max n and sum n then here i'll add n square in our answer and i'll also decrement the value of sum n by n because here i have utilized this n so i'll decrement and also i will decrement max t by one because i have utilized one test cases so i will loop until this uh, max t or this sum n is not equal to zero and uh, as soon as they become zero it means uh, we have exceeded the constraints so we'll exit this loop and after exiting our answer will be stored in this variable answer 
which we can directly print. So I hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both C++ and Python. In case you have any doubt, feel free to write in the comments. So let's meet in another video. Thank you so much.